If you survive in this tent for a week, you can win up to $10,000. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. The amount of overnight challenges we have done on this channel is insane, but we have never done an entire week before. Isaac will start with literally nothing, but can use parts of his potential prize money to buy provisions and upgrades for his tent. If he leaves the tent at any point during the week, the challenge is over and he wins nothing. Isaac is the perfect person for this challenge. He is an extrovert that needs time with people, but he is also underestimating how hard we are going to make this challenge be for him. We are about to enter the Jstu marketplace. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let the shopping begin. Because remember, everything you buy takes away from your $10,000. Obviously, I want to walk away with as much money as possible, but I also want to make sure I can even complete it. First up, this is all your sleeping and bedding. Several different options for you with different price tags. That's a pretty good price for that. Is that safe to sleep in? Oh, no, I got it all. 100% <laughs> gonna get this bed. I'm gonna get this guy. Maybe just put it next to my head when I sleep. My dad sent me a video on how to stay warm in a tent. He said, make sure you have a good insulated floor. If we're gonna have to go with the rug, I'm gonna get this thing. A place to store stuff and this can act as a table. Starting goal is to stay under a thousand dollars. What? There's no way. Realistically, I'm gonna have to make a little sacrifice and maybe try and stay under two thousand dollars. I don't want any of this. I just want the extra grundies. Do I have to spend a hundred dollars just for two extra pairs? Oh, oh man. We'll do a hundred dollars. We're going with hundred dollar food options and everything. Some little like for sure need deodorant. Definitely need some soap. Wait a second. If I get one of these toilets, it has to be inside the tent? Yes. And we'll change it once a day. Somebody on the team will probably draw straws <laughs> oh dude i feel that's like i feel bad for, i don't even oh we have a deal for you porta potty is a thousand dollars but if you decide within the next 10 seconds you buy the porta potty it's 750 dollars no. uh, what am i on quick amount of money i'll take it okay. oh! realistically pooping and sleeping are essential things kids avengers oh i hate you guys oh you guys are evil you're gonna charge me 45 dollars to wipe my butt yeah, you can do it for less porta potty oh, like... comes with one roll <laughs> i'm gonna need more than one roll pal okay ten ten dollars all right so i think i'm gonna get this as my source of life if i want to cook of my oatmeal or ramen i'm gonna need this bad boy so i've already gone over my original plan and my backup plan time for plan c plan <laughs> yeah i'm getting more and more sad i'm gonna get this little cutlery set and you gotta think about your shower if you're gonna take a shower you might skip on that i don't know i've used this for my shower yeah all your water you're showering you're cooking ramen with it washing your hands okay let's go three cases 30 bucks that's, that's doable 75 dollars isaac you know the motto must have snacks i know but this is a snack technically none of these are really a meal another flash oh. sale 50 percent off all snacks in the next five seconds whoa really you better decide yeah, or they're going back all of this just that one? Yes, please. 50% off. Let's go shower. Oh. Hang on a second. Isn't there security cameras in there? What are you guys gonna be doing? There'll be privacy. Showers. You have a privacy curtain. We'll make, we'll make so sure. So that's included in both the yeah. showers. Yeah. Yes. If you buy a shower. Just for respect. Okay, that's good. Either of these options, I'm looking forward to seeing how you <laughs> You're not gonna be seeing anything. <laughs> I think I have to stick with the $50. It gives me a very, very, very small budget for any kind of entertainment. $100 for the literal word of God. It's Look, priceless. This is the most important thing. My own personal Bible, that's essential. I'm going phoneless for a week, for sure. I'm gonna get this $60 journal. So this is my entertainment. The Bible in a journal. I'm done. Oh, well, that's it. Shop is closed. We are hiding this hidden note that if Isaac finds it, he can upgrade any one of his items. Go inside your tent. Once you zip it up, the challenge begins. Right. We believe in you. I'll see you again, no? I don't know. <laughs> Have fun. Oh, I will. No! The challenge has officially started. Dude, this is insane. We have built this command center to watch his every move. It's already getting hot in here. Isaac is moving his bed and everything he has to the middle of the tent. For sleeping, I have to figure out where I want my bed. I know I want it on the rug, but I don't know which way I want my head facing. It seems like he's unnecessarily scared of something that won't happen. This is what? A bear. A bear, Sasquatch. There's probably a 1% chance that a bear would attack this campsite. Yeah. But he thinks it's a 99% chance. Is he already tired? <laughs> it's not good. I don't want to take too many showers. I'm already getting sweaty. 10 bucks that within the next hour, his shirt's coming off. Give you a little tour over here. Shower station. I got my bed here. I moved the dresser so that it could be a headboard. Food drawer, nice and organized. I got my snack bowl. I have to make sure I ration that out carefully. If I only have one bar of chocolate, I guess I'll start sitting now. I'm not bored yet because I just got here, but I'm seeing how quickly I will get bored. Uh-oh. Oh, look, the pants are coming off. Too oh. <laughs> <laughs> hot in here, dude. <laughs> dude, even this is making me sweaty. There we go. Yeah! Cool. 
what? I just heard screaming from inside the house. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Not much to do. Before this challenge, Isaac told us that he was addicted to his phone. The effects of no dopamine are kicking in. Going without my phone for a week is actually going to be pretty hard. It is a source of, like, happiness for me. I'm going to be bored in here, and so I really want to work on my mobility. That's about as far as we can go. If he's literally right below the clue. If you just look up the clues, like right here. Do you think he'll man. find it at all? I mean, he's looking right at it. Reality's kind of setting in a little bit. The last week and like even all morning was kind of all jokes. And now that I'm actually in here, I'm like, man, this is gonna suck. But I'm gonna do it, don't worry. Isaac is one hour done. It's time to bring out the first challenge. There's six holes here. You get to punch through one of them. You get whatever is inside the envelope inside. Which one do they think that I would punch through? Probably that one. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. <laughs> Lowest reward. That's the worst one. Yeah. So you can want ten dollars to add to your potential prize money. This is what you could have won. Oh. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. There's more. <laughs> the shop is still available, except every single day the prices go up fifty percent. Eventually, some things will just cost the rest of my budget if I want them. Big fat disappointment. He's looking up. He sees the paper. I'm so excited for him. There's a piece of paper up there. No way. Secret unlock. Upgrade any item of your choosing. Congratulations. I'm so lucky because I moved my bed directly under. I had nothing to stare at but the ceiling. <laughs> I might need to upgrade my heat, but if the bed is super uncomfortable, I might also upgrade the bed. Soup in a kettle. Dude, it worked. It's like hot, like the potatoes. Burn my mouth a little bit. Everyone's gone. This is the time I would usually be having dinner with my wife. I'm already kind of feeling the loneliness. I'm a big people person. I definitely find a lot of happiness in hanging out with people, feeling connected. This is really my worst nightmare in terms of what makes me happy. First evening complete, just gonna brush my teeth and then I'm gonna go to bed. This was only half a day and I'm already feeling very lonely and very bored. I'm not gonna know what time I'm sleeping and waking up. I'm just gonna have to go on how my body feels. I'll see you in the morning. So I woke up like an hour ago, still pitch black. I've been laying in bed, like trying to fall back asleep. This cot is nice in theory. Dude, my back hurts. This is the first night. I might be in trouble, dude. It's light out now. Made it through the first night. This is the warmest night of the, of the week. It's only supposed to get colder from here. This will be my first whole day. I'm gonna start with a little bit of a, like a morning routine kind of deal so that I don't go crazy. So I think I'm gonna go for a little walk. <laughs> around the tent, and then I'm gonna make some breakfast, do a little bit of stretching, uh, maybe do some reading. Start the day off right. Take you in for a little bit of a tour of my porta potty. This was a good investment, I think. Yeah, I don't wanna alarm anyone, but I'm already done with this. <laughs> Usually I would be around this time going to like a coffee shop with my wife. I'll go sit with her, have a coffee, have some breakfast. It's actually really nice outside. I'd probably be soaking up the sun. Like literally the little things, like just not being able to step outside the tent, that sucks. It's crazy how much we take for granted, you know? This day two at the survival tent, it's time to throw Isaac a little curveball with this challenge here. What happened here? Uh -oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm so lonely. They have something for you. A Ferris wheel puzzle. What you need to do is have this assembled and operational by Friday. If he doesn't get it assembled by Friday, he has to stay an extra day in the tent. What? We'll see ya. You don't wanna hang out any longer? No, I'd rather not hang oh. out in here. <laughs> when are you coming back? <laughs> I don't well, know. Yeah. On the plus side, I have something to do finally, but on the downside, if I don't do it, I have to spend another day. I have six days. Check it out, guys. I got the Ferris wheel part. I don't know why, but when I eat my meals, I like to stand over by the window and just like look out. I'm starting to realize just how addicted to my phone I am. Like I'll keep like reaching for my pocket. Dude, this is like a physical, spiritual, mental journey right now. Day two, he's already starting to cave a little bit. He decided that he needs some entertainment. This was the original price. It was at 50%. Thank you. It looks super complex. And the fact that it's single player is pretty cool. Isaac is caving more and more. He wanted to know how much this Rubik's Cube costs. Just having this literally makes me so happy. This is a game changer. Ah! Night number two, good night. You guys, I'm pretty sure I just heard something outside of the tent. Obviously, like, there's a ton of sounds out there and the tent moves around. I'm getting pretty used to that, but I really thought I heard, like, something, like, something walking around outside. It is creepy in here at night. Good morning, guys! Bet you didn't expect that. It's Sunday. You gotta have a good day on Sunday, right? I'm gonna try and finish the Ferris wheel, so hopefully I can get that working, because I do not want to stay another day in here. Oh! I literally got it working. I have video evidence if it doesn't work later. Everything is now double the price. I'm gonna go out there and check on him, see if he needs anything. I think I'm gonna upgrade my bed. Now we're talking, look at that. Jungle bed. I'm gonna get a great night's sleep tonight. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. This is my third day without a shower. I think I'm gonna shower today. This is gonna be quite an experience. Woo! 
Ooh. This is gonna be so cold. Oh, oh, oh. It feels good though. It feels refreshing. Oh. Oh. Dude. A literal bird. Just go. Well, that was crazy. Another lunch. <sighs> Two tuna sandwiches. Some of these flavors are really bad. This lemon pepper tuna, no good. Sunday is when me and my wife usually will go out for lunch. Really miss that right now. I don't know if this is a thing, but I'm hoping one of the challenges, unlock a DoorDash. That would be so nice, dude. Some Chipotle, sleeping by myself, eating by myself, sitting by myself, doing nothing all by myself. I'm just starting to get really lonely. I'll like go hang out with friends or something instead of hanging out with my wife. Cause I always have that option too, you know? Now like when it's restricted, I can't hang out with anybody. I wanna hang out with her the most. I really miss her a lot. I have a feeling the, the rest of this week is gonna be pretty tough. Ah, good night, guys. Morning, guys. It's Monday. I always lay around, wait till the team gets here. At least wave at someone. If I could just see people, that would be so nice. Everyone's arriving. I don't even care if they talk to me. The fact that people are just around is like, <laughs> you don't understand. Morning, guys. I wanna be where the people are. Someone said, hey. Isaac just crossed the 100 hour mark. So as you can see, he still has 99 hours left. We have a full week planned of events and activities. Justin, Andrew, I have something to show you. Better get in here. Oh! oh! You did it, dude. No way. Does it work? I hope it works. You look at this, guys. Oh my. Isaac has completed the mystery puzzle, which means he does not have to stay an extra day. Thank goodness. We don't want to take up too much of your time. I have to get going. You don't have to get going. You don't have to get going. Yeah, I've got a meeting. Honestly, guys, just the couple interactions I've had today from just people is like literally put me in the best spirits compared to yesterday. We eating good tonight. It's so silly because I never thought in my life I'd be like excited about canned food. There is a key hidden in this cake. If you can find the key using only your mouth, we will order you anything you want on DoorDash for dinner. And you only have a minute to do it. Two, one, go. <laughs> I just showered. <laughs> Hurry, 50 seconds. Ugh. You want DoorDash, go! Where is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> About 30 seconds. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is What is my life right now? The key was right here. He was inches away from DoorDash. Now he just has a messy face. I was having a good day. Honestly, I would have rather just eat canned food and not have cake all over my face. So far, the two challenges I've had incredibly bad luck with. We're gonna be renting a llama and letting it roam free in Isaac's tent. We're also gonna tell him it's very dangerous, so hopefully it confuses him and scares him. What? <laughs> Dude, where the heck do you think you're going? Dude, there's a freaking llama in my tent. What am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> yes. I just want the alpaca to take like a poop in his house. This has been the most absurd week of my life. You wanna try some bologna? Isaac is gonna try to feed the alpaca bologna. He's not gonna eat it. <laughs> my peas, Samson? Yes? Yeah, you like that? Hopefully these don't give you gas. Oh, okay, you don't like peas. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't cute until it looks me straight in the face. Don't look me in the eyes. That's actually kind of scary. <laughs> I don't like when he looks me in the eyes. Oh, nope. This might be a terrible idea. Oh, oh. <laughs> dude, he just farted. <laughs> this is insane. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> no, don't take him. No. Alpaca Llama, I love you. Right when I made a new friend, they just take him away. This is the timer of how many hours he has left in the challenge. And this is the timer of how many hours he has spent in the tent. So far, not even halfway. We gotta let him know. Hey, Isaac. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know something. You're not even halfway done with the challenge yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like I've been here forever. Thanks for that. All right, see ya. I want a real shower. I want to have a conversation with someone who's not tormenting me. I think he's slowly losing his mind, guys. Not even halfway. What? <laughs> even though we want Isaac to win, we're going to do our very best to get him to leave. Justin and Andrew are trying to get me out of this tent. <laughs> Right now, Isaac is watching back his own clips on the camera. I mean, it's his only form of entertainment. We found this awesome playlist on Spotify that we've been listening to while watching Isaac. Just check it out. <laughs> we 
are about to put Isaac through an integrity test. One of the rules for this challenge is you cannot accept anything from an outside person. We are having Drew go up to him and ask Isaac if he is okay with accepting a meal that Drew is gonna pick up tonight when we're all not here. But if he denies it, we're gonna give him a thousand dollars. Isaac, I feel really, really bad. They're in the warehouse right now. I was wondering if you wanted me to grab you like a hot dog or like a pizza. Um, I'll be all right. Are you sure you don't want like DP dough or anything? I do. I can come later. But, uh, don't you don't wanna? Okay. I'll, I'll cause I'll, I'll remember it. Okay. Thanks though. All right. What were you guys talking about? Nothing. You passed. That was a integrity oh. bribe test. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac just gained an extra $1,000 to his Whoa. initial earnings. Yeah! Whoa. Integrity! You always be a man of integrity. Okay, guys, it's really cold. I don't regret upgrading to the bed because it's so comfortable, but at the same time, man, it is really cold. Tuesday, not even halfway through the week yet, but I'm halfway through the challenge. I don't know, yesterday was kind of crazy. I'm a little nervous about what Justin and Andrew have in store for me today. If it gives me the opportunity to win some cool stuff or win more money, yeah, I'm all for it. It's time to do the treasure chest challenge with Isaac. He could win something good or something bad could happen. Knock, knock. We have the treasure chest game show. We yeah. have three chests to choose from. One of them has something good, two of them not oh. so much. <laughs> Last time far right was awful. Go ahead and make your selection now. We'll go book. You want this one. I want <gasps> so you didn't pick this box. Didn't pick that one. Okay. Inside of here is a Carolina Reaper. Oh, thank goodness. You chose book. I chose book. Now, would you like to change your vote? No. You want to stick with your vote? Yes. Yes. Sir. Always stick with it. Never question it. Yes. You have chosen full. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to eat it right now. Behind the good box was an extra thousand dollars. I want to die. <laughs> For our next random event, we have hired Jason, who is a personal trainer and going to run Isaac through a fun workout. I'm a personal trainer. Oh, great. Go. Good. Jump up real high. Good. One. <laughs> Let's go, Isaac. <laughs> this is freedom for you. Come on. That's probably enough for me. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Oh my gosh. Feels good, huh? No. Good. Come on. A little lower. Come on. Feeling good? Still no. A 20 minute high intensity workout. This is gonna kill him. Sprint. 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 Come on. Sprint. Sprint. Come on. <laughs> Two. One. One. Good. Come on. Two. Three. Come on, Two. <laughs> yes, sir. Keep in mind, the only nutrition Isaac has had for the last 92 hours is like can of peas, cheese sandwiches. Congrats on the workout completion. Thank you. You did it. I did something. <laughs> you have to take a bite of this pepper by Friday or you're staying here another day. We're gonna leave this with you. I know you don't have a fridge, so keep that in mind. But today's been a rough one. Everyone's here, but just being in here alone just is rough. Two more days to go, and I am just so ready to go home. I'm sure Isaac is extremely hungry, so we have a nice fresh pizza right here. All he has to do is beat me at rock, paper, scissors, and he gets it. Otherwise, me and the team are gonna enjoy it. Knock, knock. We have a lovely fresh pizza. Okay. That you can win. <laughs> that looks so good. All you have to do is beat me at rock, paper, scissors. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> I just am. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, no. right, let's go. Rock, paper, scissors first, always. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I value the company over the pizza right now, to be honest. All right, let's get out of here. That was nice. Oh, I cannot catch a break with these games. But honestly, just having the whole team like outside my tent and just be able to talk to them for just a couple minutes, like that was almost better than the pizza. I'm not going to lie. I really hope that tomorrow I have some better luck with the challenges. Oh man, I'm so tired, but I'm having a hard time sleeping because the wind keeps make, waking me up. It's like super stormy outside. I actually had a nightmare about a hurricane and then I wake up and like the whole tent is shaking.
Every day I've been putting more and more pine needles on Isaac's car. It's just parked here and it's been parked here for days now. So when he comes out of the tent at the end of the week, it's just gonna be covered in pine needles. I had another ingenious idea. I'm gonna try and make a grilled cheese sandwich on my heater. And before you call me dumb, I know that this is a bad idea and potentially could start a fire, but I'm gonna do it anyway. First, the bread. Two slices of cheese and bread on top. This is my greatest idea ever. Dude! Isaac just made a grilled cheese sandwich with his heater. I'm a genius, guys. I just am a genius. <laughs> But check this out. He is about to cross the 50 hour mark left in this challenge. That's crazy. He's been in this tent for 116 hours. I'm kind of nervous. I have a feeling there's gonna be either a weird twist or something nuts is about to go down. You don't understand how excited I am to go home. <laughs> Dude, no wonder it's so cold. It's literally snowing right now. Oh my gosh. Zip that back up. Oh. Snowing outside now. This is definitely the worst weather day. He only has to survive one more night in the tent. We are here with Isaac's wife, Olivia. We want to show her the setup. Is that like dirt in there? He's just like there. Do you think he's doing okay, above average, below average? I'm gonna write Isaac a letter. When we were dating, he bought these from a special store and he wrote me like 21 letters. So I'm gonna write him a letter using the paper. We'll go deliver the letter. We'll see how he reacts. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> special delivery. Oh, thank you. What is this? A little letter? Dude, I already recognize the handwriting on this thing. It says, my love from my wife. But I'm really proud of him. Oh, wait a second. Is he in there? <laughs> He's looking to see if your car is here. This is gonna go in my Bible. Honestly, I was not expecting it to snow this much. This is insane. We can have a snowball fight with Isaac. This is the worst. I hate snow as well. It's not even like, ooh, it's cause snow is so cozy. No, snow makes me mad. Oh, right there. Oh! No! <laughs> it's underwear! Oh. Get it back there. No, please! Oh, there's snow all in my bed. Let's go back inside to the warm house. Yeah, let's go sit by the furnace. It's a good thing I got out of bed. If I'd stayed in bed, they would have come in and smashed it in my face. I know that I, I know they would have. If it's this cold right now, I can't imagine tonight. Hopefully I don't die. It is time for a huge twist. We're about to give Isaac the option to sleep for the next 24 hours in this tent instead. If he accepts the offer, we're going to up his prize money to $12,000. If you were in Isaac's situation right now, would you take this offer? It's only for 24 hours, but I mean, look at the weather. Another tent inside a tent? What is happening? We have a proposal for you. Okay. You have about 24 hours left in this challenge. If you spend your last 24 hours in this tent, <laughs> we will give you $12,000 total. Whoa. Why is it still in the tent? We thought it was the perfect time to let you guys know about our brand new coffee company, Keepy Uppy. We've been working on this for months and we made sure it tastes super good and is really good for you. Pre-orders start Black Friday. Link in the description and the first 700 people who order it are gonna get a signed card from Andrew and I. We're gonna remove this tent. Oh, yeah. oh, and course. whatever you wanna bring in there, you can. I, I can take anything in there? Anything you want. What if I freeze it? You could give up. I could die. Is it worth $12,000? It's like four grand. And if you give up, it's zero. So you can <laughs> stay in here and play the safe bet, keep what you got. Oh my gosh. Or risk it. It's gonna be so cold. This is pretty good. I have to, right? Yeah, I do have to. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> 12 grand. I mean, come on, that's double digits. Are you doing it? Yeah. Hey. We'll, we'll do it. I don't know if I want to do it because I'm actually genuinely kind of scared. Like if I start getting so cold that it's, it's actually a problem, I might quit. Oh, that would just suck to walk away with nothing. It's time to remove Isaac's tent and let the 24 hours begin. You get to experience the reality. <laughs> Isaac oh actually God. left quite a few items out here. Are you getting rid of that drawer? Or? No. But all the food's in there. The bear's gonna smell it and come over here. That's your fault. This is actually a mistake. I'm really regretting this decision. I'm sorry. Live if I fail. For our next random event, we have Dr. T here who is going to go have a conversation with Isaac. We have him on the screen right here. It almost seemed like he was about to break down. He was kind of like hitting his head and he's like, ah, I'm so sorry. I think this is the perfect time that Dr. T came here. Dude, my heart is beating so fast. I'm so scared. Oh, bro, you don't have to be scared. I'm just scared you guys are gonna do something else and make it worse. Nope, I promise you. There's no more funny business going on. I just can't go home to live as a failure. 
You can do it, bro. Yeah, you've got this. You'll be able to say you overcame something really difficult that you've never experienced before. And we're all rooting for you, man. So I'm actually a licensed professional counselor. This is just what he needed, I think. What have they done to you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> if it gets worse than this, I, I think I don't think I can make it. Mainly going home with empty-handed to my wife. Feel like you let her down? Yeah. And myself, and just oh man, everything. You're been... fighting back something there, dude. What you? Yeah. What are you fighting back? Fear of failure, fear of letting her down. Yeah, like if I if I quit this, it's just like another thing that I quit. Yeah. And when does it stop? That's the fear. Like, how many more right. times do I give in? Right. Lots of guys have plenty of those failures. Not it's yeah. It's not about not getting knocked down. It's just about getting back up again. You can fail plenty of times. This one I know I regret forever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what have you learned about you? That's some truths about life. But I love bread. <laughs> <laughs> Give yourself permission to be at peace and to not fear what the repercussions of that peace are. It's pretty beautiful, I gotta say. Dude, if it, if it keeps snowing in the night, like if it snows as much as it did here, that's bad because this tent is not made to withstand that much weight, I'm sure. I just realized I didn't bring my flashlight. Oh my gosh, I made it through the last night. I was so scared. There was no wind all night. Praise the Lord. It is the final day with hours remaining. He still hasn't eaten the pepper yet. If you don't eat the pepper, you have to stay another day. I'm gonna eat it right before I come out. My appreciation for life has just changed. I wanna be a better husband. I have so many surface level friendships. I wanna be a better friend. Maybe it's just the tent talking, but I feel renewed passion for life. Time is almost up. <laughs> it's about to cross over 30 minutes left. Oh, Whoa. he is ready to eat the one pepper challenge. Let me pad my stomach with my last slice of bread. I don't know why I'm more scared than the wind chip. Ooh, he got that down quick. I'm hoping it skipped my mouth and went straight to my stomach. It kicks in a little delayed for sure. I'm starting to get a headache though. Woo! Nothing hurts at me anymore. I'm invincible. Ah. Uh. Oh, that didn't help. Wow, that made it way worse. He completed the pepper challenge. He does not have to stay another day. Yeah. My stomach burns so bad now. Oh. Oh. The final 10 minutes. My stomach. Oh. Isaac, the time has come. You have about one minute left. If you wanted to give up. With one minute left? Why would I do that? Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Oh, thank you. We have one more surprise for you. Yeah! 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 Oh, you guys are the best. I have such a greater appreciation for everything. Thanks for the experience. 